Hello, hello. I today I decided I wanted to make a lightning build on the druid and try to make it as good as I can. It turned out okay. However, it's very odd because I really only have three lightning abilities, and then this earthen bulwark. It's I, I don't even know if you can call this four abilities, but I guess it I, I guess it's one, two, three. I guess it's four. But so let's go ahead and go over the build and what legendaries you need. So what I noticed about the lightning abilities in uh, for the druid is that it, it takes a lot of passives and it takes a lot of resources to get going. So there's going to be a lot of potential for this build as we go up. But it actually is good enough, I think, to kill stuff. I have not tried doing the Den Mother. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to clear this dungeon with the build and we'll see how it goes. But let's go ahead and go over the legendaries here. So first thing, basic skills gain 58% attack speed. So the reason behind this is because the whole build kind of centers around storm strike and procking things with storm strike, right? We'll get into that to a little bit, but the idea here is I want to attack faster because it's going to make more things immobilized and vulnerable. And, you know, cool, cool, awesome, right? Here we have deal 33% increased damage when you have a barrier active. That's why I use earthen bulwark, have the barrier have more extra damage. I mean, it's not really that great, but it's like I couldn't I didn't find any other legendaries that would synergize with this build that would be good because what I was finding was lightning storm kind of sucked. And it was really awkward, it was really clunky. It didn't really do what I was trying to make it do. Like it felt like if I just kept attacking with storm strike, I would do the exact same amount of damage that I was doing with uh with lightning storm. So yeah, because it's like, I mean, you can heavily, because it didn't feel like I could really use any of these other legendaries. It was like I either had to go all in on Lightning Storm, or I could go all in on this kind of Storm Strike build. And when I tried to go all in on Lightning Storm, it just didn't feel that good. It didn't feel like the damage was really there. And I think the reason for that is because it's uh, it's a channeled ability. And I think it's really hampering this, and I think Blizzard might want to take a look, because I really am just, I'm not that big of a fan of this ability. Um, but yeah, so, uh, that being that being said, uh, the next two legendaries, or I guess the next three legendaries, is we have skills deal up to 51% increased damage. The reason for this is we don't have a spender, so we're always at max, so we always get 51% increased damage solid. Um, you might ask, you know, why I didn't put this here. Well, it's because, you know, this is, it's a 20 to 30% attack speed buff versus like a 10% increase from this. So like, cause this max rolled right at 51%. So that means if I was to increase this, I don't know. I'm honestly not a hundred percent certain which one of these would statistically be best. This might be a little bit better now that I'm thinking about it, but Eh, who cares? It's beta. This will be over tomorrow anyway. Um, anyway, so uh, then we have up to 11% chance when dealing lightning damage to overload the target, causing it to pulsate for uh, 300 damage. Then we have another one, critical strikes with storm skills charge the air around you uh, and cause a lightning strike to periodically hit an enemy in the area for 460 lightning damage. So you can see right here, like that's like 700 damage in procs, uh, just right there. So now... Let's get into the build and abilities. So we got uh, Storm Strike. This is just a pretty good ability, I think, in general. It's AoE. It's multiple people. Uh, it gives you 25% damage reduction whenever you use it, so it gives you defenses innately. Uh, it will immobilize people. That's going to be important later for passives. And then it also makes them vulnerable, which will also be important later for passives. So things are pretty much perma-vulnerable or immobilized. One of the two. Uh, then we took Earthen Bulwark. This is simply because that was the legendary I decided to make work. was a damage increase when I have a barrier. It's not that crazy, but, um, you know, a little bit of extra damage. I mainly had to take this because there was literally nothing else I could take unless I wanted to take Lightning Storm. And this is just not, like, it's just not that useful. Because remember, if I end up using Lightning Storm, then I lose this bonus. So I'm losing damage, you know, that I would have had on, you know, these storm strikes by using lightning storm. 
and uh, also to heavily invest into Lightning Storm. Uh, I guess an another issue too is is that you can't really make a Lightning build. It becomes more of a companion build because there's a Legendary that says increase damage by X amount or each core skill damage by X amount for each companion you have out and that is just by far one of the best druid legendaries so like if you're focusing on a core skill you kind of have to have that like it's it's kind of important so but then that also again changes the build up again and requires you to have some other stuff and it really just I don't know and then even after you have it all it still doesn't feel that great because again it's a channeled ability so it's not like you can spam it it's not like these other builds we're seeing you know it's not like uh, the werewolf build that's another video I posted if you haven't seen that um, that's another one I posted where it's just always good constant damage it's like you have to build up the, the spirit and then you have to spend it you have to build it up and then you have to spend it you know it's not this consistent damage thing like the other classes have um, so I don't actually have a point in this that's just coming from my uh, what should I call it but I'm not putting it on the bar because that doesn't count that's just a random piece of gear that has a plus one rank uh, I took this 15% increased non-physical resistances simply because there really is anything else. I mean, yeah, you could take Cyclone Armor, I guess, but yeah, I mean, I don't know, I guess there could be an argument that taking Cyclone Armor could be good here, just because if you put on the other Legendary, you can get more uh, damage resistance, but ultimately, you don't really need the knockback, and you don't need the vulnerability, because everything's going to be made vulnerable by Stormstrike, and uh, knocking things away from you is actually not that good. Uh, for this build so I mean you could use cyclone armor here instead of this if you want I just went for this simpler okay now into the kind of meat of how this works so now we get down here we take hurricane we don't take any of this because we don't really care about slows we don't need to make it vulnerable and we don't care if enemies deal less damage all three of these are not uh, not that great at the moment so uh, then we have elemental exposure. Uh, your storm skills have up to a 20% chance to make enemies vulnerable. Um, now this is another, now you just take this in order to unlock this, but this also is another reason why you don't need any of these other vulnerability things. You just have a lot of things that make things vulnerable already. You don't need it. Uh, so then you have this every 18 seconds, uh, a lightning strike hits an enemy for 249, 345. Or 305, so that's another proc. So on top of that, so it's like a thousand damage now in procs that we have, and then you get up to this, up to a 30% chance when dealing damage to a vulnerable, immobilized, or stunned enemy, which is why we need the vulnerable and immobilized. There's a chance to also hit it for another 305 to 370 lightning damage. Now you have an even another proc, right? So that's like 1300 damage and potential procs just kind of coming out. Uh, then down here we take Cataclysm. This isn't really that important. Uh, this isn't really that important either. Uh, I just took this because I was trying to increase the damage to elites, and then your storm skills deal more damage to enemies that are stunned, immobilized, or knocked back. Okay, so that's pretty much the build. Um, if you want to know for defensive legendaries, I mean, you can do this, uh, this, and this. I don't know, I didn't really ever have any survivability issues. These are just legendaries I found, so I put them on. Um, I stopped having survivability issues on the Druid after I hit around level 10. So let's give this a let's give her a go. Let's give her the old college try here. So now see so you can see it's definitely doing some damage. Uh, so slay two watchmen. Let's see what's gonna happen here. I am curious to see how this is gonna go on the boss, because like I said I have not definitely smashing yeah, definitely smashing normal enemies, that's for sure. We'll see what happens when we actually get to an elite. I know, big, big damage here. I'm just lots of skill. I'm just mashing my left click button here. Tons of skill. You've never seen skill like this. Ugh. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Okay. Let's get to the Watchmen. That'll be good. Okay. Oh well. Didn't really get any procs there. That kind of sucked. You'll have that sometimes. Oh, look at that, and look look at that. And I'm not even using a hurricane consistently. Okay. Is this a watchman? I don't know. Alright, we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna... Boom, baby. Not bad. Not bad, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I did have my ult up for that, so... 
I was getting a bunch of damage. Oh, I don't care about that curse shrine. I don't care about that. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Where in the heck is... Wow, this is like the... Did I miss something? Oh, wow. Okay, I could have just walked up this whole time. You, you love to see it. You love to see it. Okay. Let's go here. Let's see how much... Let's see how much I do here. Turn on my... Not bad. Not quite as good as the werewolves. Werewolves would kind of one-shot this, but this is for what it is. I mean, gosh dang, man. I'm not... I didn't even use my ult there. Not bad at all. I'm actually pretty... Pretty happy with how this is turning out. I mean, it's a four ability build, so. Imagine this at level 100. My god. I really love the storm abilities. This is actually probably one of, even though it's really simple, uh, even though it's really simple, it's still really fun. You know, it, you really can feel the kind of theme of lightning, storm, you know. You have all these lightning strikes going off. It's really fun. Okay, let's see here. Let's do that. Okay, now go ahead and bam. And there you're going, and boom! Big damage. That. Not bad. Having a lot of fun. You know, I actually thought Druid was going to be a lot more straightforward when I first saw the tree, but when I started breaking it down, I was like, man, there's actually a lot of different builds. Because, I mean, if you wanted to, you could go for the, the, the Lightning Storm. I just think, I don't know, I think just constantly attacking is better than standing still for a second. It seemed like it, at least it seemed like it was better to me, because my first draft of this did have the Lightning Storm. Yeah. The only downside is I am curious to see the boss damage. Because I might get wrecked. You never really know. Okay, here. Oh, no, is this it? No, it's not. Okay. So I don't remember this one being a crazy long one. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And you can just see the damage pop off once I get immobilized. Boom. Bam. Love it. I love it. Okay. Just go ahead and pop bolt for the heck of it. Thin leather could be a challenge. You know, actually, the Dead Mother could be the reason why Cyclone Armor could be better. You know, gotta take into all these considerations. Even though this might be more damage than taking the Cyclone Armor, you never know. There could be... I could not have the survivability. Kill that. Bam. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> that actually, I was kind of worried actually that this might be, like, because I could see that it was slapping elites, but I was kind of worried that maybe my survivability wouldn't be there. But, um, no, it was there. Okay. Well, there it is. This is the four ability, I guess, I don't know, call it the Storm Strike build. Just, we're kind of going all in on Storm Strike. Uh, again, it does take quite a few legendaries, I think, to really make good but 
man, when you actually get it all together, I will say this, this is easy to find. This is pretty easy to find because you could have found this on other characters from last weekend. So as long as you find this and this, um, you should be good to go on this build and should be able to find it find it and this is also another common one across all the classes because it's it's using three generic legendaries um, that that transfer across all the classes so that being said if you are wondering the fastest way to get these um, just do dungeons and then do dungeons do events you know play the game do the stronghold and whenever you get the murmuring ovals the op strat i found with the ovals is just go just buy gloves and that'll potentially get you these and then you can extract them Re-imprint them on a piece of gear you want it on, but it'll help you. But, you know, don't buy jewelry or weapons with your obols. That's just like a total waste. Just buy gloves because you can get all these affixes on the gloves, and they only cost 25 versus the 40 or like 75 that a two-handed weapon costs. Okay, well, I, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and, uh, yeah, catch you guys later.